2015. New year, new resolutions, new games. Yes, lovely people of the Tubiverse. That's a word now. Deal with it. I bring you the second week of my top five free iOS games. Now, just a reminder, these aren't necessarily the latest and greatest, but they're free and extremely fun to play. So grab your devices and let's do this thing. Stick Hero is simple relatively fast paced and well designed. You play as this little hero and the objective is straightforward. Create a stick to further your mission. To do this, you simply tap and hold on your screen. The stick is automatically created and it's up to you to judge the length of each gap. You can collect cherries along the way that will help you unlock different characters. The tricky part comes in not under or overshooting the length, even by one pixel. Probably the trippiest game on this list and ever. Synesthetic uses the music on your device as its core mechanic. You pick a song from your library, it loads and then you have the option to play one of two types of gameplay, vibe and wave. The gameplay itself is simple. You use your phone to pilot your character along a spine that reflects the song you've chosen and you have to avoid the obstacles that get in your way. If you do hit an object, the music dies almost immediately and only picks up again once you get back on track. Pun intended. It's very colorful, very bright, and very awesome. The only puzzle game on this list, God of Light is definitely one of the better games I've played. The premise is that the world has gone dark and it's up to you to relight the way. The guys at Playmouse have done a great job in getting the physics of this game correct. You progress through a series of stages, each becoming trickier than the last. With the sections adding new game mechanics like black holes, mirrors, magnifying glasses, light absorbing objects and so on, it gives the player a good chance to experiment. This is a must for anyone who wants a bit of a challenge when it comes to their games. If you're more the strategist, then Boom Beach might very well pique your interest. Set in a World War II-esque era, you control an allied force against the Blackguard. You start off by defending an island and from there you must slowly build your forces to rescue the neighboring islands from Blackguard control. Supercell have done a great job with Boom Beach. The gameplay is fun, quick and you really get into it. One particular time, I felt a sense of sorrow when a platoon I had been using for a long time all got killed. I felt responsible and bad that I couldn't have saved them. As you progress, you upgrade your items, equipment and men to get a stronger force and defeat more Blackguard patrols.
I've tried a few superhero mobile fighting games in my time, and Contest of Champions is by far the better of the lot. To cut a long story short, you get to play as some of the heroes from the Marvelverse, like Wolverine, Spider-Man, Thor, and so on. I got lost following the story in some parts, but as you go along the different quests, you unlock characters, upgrades, and so on. The fighting is smooth, fast, and brutal, with each character getting their own unique special move. The combos you can achieve are great, and it's just generally a lot of fun to play. Kabam have done a fantastic job with Contest of Champions. Sweet! Another roster of games for you to enjoy in the upcoming week. Thanks very much for watching today, guys. Like, comment, share, and sub, and I'll see you on the next one.